first of all, clean your car, bitch. <laughs> it's September. Okay. It's September. I'm waiting on my dad to get out the hospital. They tell me 10.45 and it's 11.21. Come on, people. Do I need to come get them? Woo! It's September, yeah. Yeah. Say I rebuke you. This gonna be a good month. I name it and I claim it. You know? But they do need to come on because I woke out of my sleep to come up here. And I would love to get back home and get back in the bed because it's raining and everything. Sorry, my camera is, I guess that's the, there we go. Um, yeah, it's raining and I would love to get back in my bed. Mm -mm, sweethearts. But I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you guys have a great month also. Let's get it rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a brief intermission. I know you guys are like, what is going on? The month is not over, but I've decided to start doing weekly vlogs. So this is more than a week, but from here on out, you guys will get a vlog every week. Okay. Uh -huh. Are you close? Oh. Mm -hmm. Happy Wednesday. Oh, put your seatbelt on. Say hey to the people. <laughs> hey guys, I'm getting last month vlog up. And yeah, it has been rough. Let me tell y'all. So last week, someone egged Nicole's car. So we had a whole altercation about that because I'm like, what, what you done did to somebody? You cheating? They're like flat out. No. You need to love me or you hate me, y'all. I'm just cutthroat like that. So we got cameras installed, all right? So of course you got the cameras installed, didn't pay for the right program. Fast forward a week later, somebody done broke in my car. Listen now, if I wanted to be in the hood, I would have never left where I just moved from. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, really aggravated. So I'm like, no problem. I'm just gonna file a police report, look at the stuff on the camera. So, I got to look at the stuff on the camera. It will only take me back 12 hours because she didn't opt in to pay the $19.99 for a continuous or where it go back seven days. So at this point, I'm aggravated. Why did you get cameras installed if you wasn't going to pay for the program? So now I don't know who broke in my car. So now after I do this vlog in the midst of my dad's home, he's doing very, very well. Thank you, Jesus um we finna have to move like i can't do this like first of all about four months ago someone broke into nicole car took all her stuff out and threw it in the neighbor's yard and i'm like are we under personal attack or is this some bad kids you get what i'm saying um then her car gets egged and then yesterday like she was thrown all over my car i had to clip in And so I got to move, y'all. And so I don't have time to be buying another house right now. Because it's like, I got to move next week. I can't have peace of mind. Because I don't know if this is personal. A lot of people know this address because I did used to do makeup out this house. A lot of people think I'm rich. So I don't know what's going on. Or it could just be some kids playing in the neighborhood, like I said. That we can get out ASAP. Because I don't have time to go through a whole home buying process all over right now. So, pray for me, y'all. I know y'all do already because I have been getting hit left and right since April, March, April. And guys, I'm here restocking my website. I found a new vendor for my pop sockets and was able to go down eight whole dollars. Do you know how much of a difference that is? Girl, the products, I can get them so much cheaper now to make them. So I was able to go down a whole lot. Um, I am packaging orders. They're all around me. And yeah, so I'm getting it done. All right, guys, so I'm back, but in the dark, I'm just so happy because our neighborhood um, watch group caught the people who broke in my car. Um, someone else had a camera 
and it was three non-blacks. I want to make sure I say that non-black badass teenagers um, who were just walking up the street trying to break in people car and steal people car. Right. So, um, yeah, it's good having those neighborhood watch groups and stuff. And I'm just so excited because it's nothing like feeling violated and not knowing who did it. And so that kind of gave me a sense of relief. Um, yeah, because I don't want to have to move either. But anyway, um, people, watch your kids because I shoot, man. And I would hate for somebody, mama, to be on the news to my, my baby didn't deserve that they so good because I done shot your child up for being in my yard. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, um, yeah. And a quick update on that. He's home. He's doing good. Excellent. Like, he's back to normal. So I, I don't know what happened that fast the other night that, um, you know, turned sour. They had him all in the ICU, but he's cooking, he's walking, he's talking, and he's back to normal. Hey, guys. So, it's my favorite cousin slash sister's birthday. We're surprising her. She think we're going out to eat, but what are we doing? Doing a little house party. Brunch. I got a yard Wait, it's sign. it's turned. Yeah, girl, I had to come back in the house because, sweetie, sweetie. She can't go nowhere without these. Y'all love these, but I bought these. Actually, she bought these for me like a year ago at a shoe store for $4. So, y'all keep, we get the shoes, we get the shoes. But, man, being funny, you know, I'll tell y'all where I get everything from. But, you can't get these. They don't exist anymore. If I find them, I'll buy mine and resell them. But, as of now, honey, you can't, it, I, I can't help you. Sweetie. He's big, huh? He's big, huh? <laughs> so, you ready? Here we go. I gotta get this open. Boy, I'm so miss drinking. It's alright, it's alright. I'm ready for these shrimp and grits. Okay. Here she come. Let me get over here, cousin. <laughs> Don't mind the door, bro. Who is it? <laughs> and then I say that she fussing the whole time. <laughs> well, looky, looky. 2020 done hated on us, haven't they? We ain't been able to turn up none this year. Sure. With my girl, with my sis. <laughs> we eat, y'all. 2021. 2021, we out of town every other week. What? What? <laughs> if the Lord stayed aside. <laughs> Made it to Jamaica. How are you loving Jamaica so far? Very, very good. No. Pandemic ain't stopping nothing over here. Jeanette Admon. <laughs> Let me get y'all beach view. Oh, oh Nicole didn't wear some swords. My baby girl, show me a little leopard. No, I mean, no. This is camouflage. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me see. Be careful how you flash them, okay? 
We trying to get to the beach, y'all. We getting to the beach. Y'all, we had to leave Nicole. Her appetite on stink, ain't it? And like she could give my mama a cold bottle of water. We at the beach. She didn't even wear no beach stuff, huh? Okay, it's cool. We want to show y'all some tricks, okay? Can do a handstand. My family accommodate everybody who got beef, turkey, and veggie, huh? <laughs> no man left behind. Okay. Okay, I gotta go because the music. Back on the beach. Whoa, my little baby cousin. Because I'm supposed to be babysitting. He all the way over there on the floor. At least we ain't bad like them jumping off the we in Jamaica with it. Yeah. Who you know in Jamaica the day before school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Say, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Parted all weekend, but the grind don't stop. So, you know, let's get it Monday tomorrow. We back to school. Thank you all so much. And good night. Yeah, how y'all been doing? Hey, y'all. How y'all been doing? Y'all, yeah. <laughs> I know what that's from. Well, anyway, ooh, that wasn't a smart idea. Your girl has to run to the post office. It's a late story, but I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta chill with my bra. Hey, okay, so yeah, somebody's supposed to be in virtual school, but I, uh, are you going? You got you in school. Worry about me. Where are you going? She in school, yeah. To the post office. You wanna go? What time is it? Two. I thought you had a Zoom me. Me too. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's gonna fourth in tenth grade. Where is my shoe? Okay, well, we going to the post office. Like this. Okay, <laughs> I thought she had a zoom in. Mm -hmm. Your laptop will be here between five. For groceries will be here between three and five. Your laptop will be here between five and seven. Can you grab the bag since you go over me? Mm -hmm. Happy first day of 10 <laughs> Thanks. Come on with this bag. Sugar. Because she had her bonnet on. <laughs> <laughs> she had her bonnet on in class. <laughs> I think I'm ready to get my nails done, y'all. Why not? Maybe I should take this off. Why not? Uh, I shop up me, but I was thinking like toe feet. They, they not like face. dead in my face, yeah. But they I always have on me before the pandemic. Girl, what's all this on my shirt? Good job, turkey. All right, we gotta go. Lunch break time. Let go, let go. Move it, move it. Push it, push it. <laughs> push it, push it. No, they don't need nobody on the other side to my some dang. That's how they did me one day. Okay, hold on, let me drop it. All right, let's go. Push it, push it. <laughs> Almost. That's it. Yep. And I. Oop. To my some, they had to get new computers. Close it. New word. Um, no, I know you playing. What's the highlands? The elementary school that they probably got it from. All right, can I see you? So, in this episode of Cooking the Flat, <laughs> we're doing a peach dump cake. We already put the peaches in, y'all. It's a horrible view because, of course, like I always, I don't have no bone. All right, guys, so I'm headed to the post office and back to the coach store. Um, I need to exchange my sister's birthday gift and those peach, those, I didn't even, oh, this is not even the same month. 
I gotta exchange some slides and I gotta take um, a couple of orders and some returns to the post office of stuff people sent me and I really hate to do that but I'm in no position right now to be stressed out um, so I have a couple of you know black owned businesses and stuff that hey can I send stuff to your PO box sure the PO box address is under my videos and then it's like when you gonna show it when you gonna show it when you gonna show it and it's like I'm not trying to be funny at all because I know you a lot of people think I'm like mean and aggressive which I'm quite the opposite I'm just firm it's a big difference like I'm not a jackass y'all I'm just firm and so um, if you voluntarily and it's different if I ask for it but if you voluntarily send me something to my P.O. box I have whole companies who I owe thousand dollar videos I haven't done and they're very understanding because they know my dad is sick and I've been sick um, so I'm not gonna let anybody like hound me over a free package if that makes sense I know that sounds really really harsh because I value everybody's business I promise you I do but I haven't even been working a vlog is it because it's easy to just look like this and turn on the camera and tell y'all about my day but when it comes to like putting on makeup putting on clothes recording a video editing a video uploading a video I haven't been able to adjust my schedule like that yet so um yeah moral of all that is i'm sending the stuff back to a couple of people because i the last thing i want somebody to do is think that i just took their stuff and i'm just holding on to their inventory so before anybody do that or before anybody like constantly ask me about the package i'll just send it back it's no big deal um it's kind of lost in their end because patience is virtue so i know i probably could have got them a lot of sales but if you want your stuff back i'm just sending it back so yeah i'm headed to i think i already said the coach outlet in the p.o box so i'm back at the outlet i'm trying to get me some cardio in i'm having these weird short pains in my stomach though um yeah so it's mind over matter i think so i'm gonna try to keep it pushing today because at this point this shit just irritating me every day Oh, for it's a gift. Okay. I ended up getting this for her. So, yeah. This is opening her gift. Okay. Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, I needed another one. Yes, hunty. Woohoo! <laughs> but coach y'all niggas. How to wear a coach. You wear it like this. You can wear with clothes or without clothes. Oh my gosh. Like this. Like this. Yes. <laughs> You will. All right, guys. So I just finished the shaper video. I'm about to try to get it loaded, but everybody waiting on me for dinner. Man, it's just hard, man. I feel like I'm responsible for everything. I drop off at school, pick up at school, responsible for dinner. Still gotta work. Still not feeling good. Still gotta take care of people. I'm on it though. I'm trying my hardest, y'all, but I'm tired. Uh, sweat and tears, y'all. The shaper dropped today. It is booming. This gonna go off all night. My phone ain't stopped going off. Period. We gonna be up all night, huh, babe? Yeah. Thank y'all so much. I think as of right now, the leggings are sold out and everything in the bigger sizes. The smaller sizes, they're still available, but God is good. So, hey, goodbye. Right, so it's three o'clock in the morning. I have this, I have this whole stack over here. Got a scheme over these so you guys can't see anyone's address and stuff. And they're like layered up. Yeah, making it happen. I'm bagging up, y'all. So, guys, three post office later, and all the packages are out. 
And I guess Nicole tired of me because she just sent me a link to where that I can schedule pickups. <laughs> Don't do me, bro. <laughs> she tired. She said people was talking shit. What the lady say? She said, I hope that whole bag ain't for ain't oh, Mail. We're at the post office. What do you think it is? Um, Food? Like, and the I fuck? But yeah, they all gone. And I got like a few more to pack that's still trickling through, but the trickling through but the bulk of them are out so i'm gonna rest i rest semi-rested yesterday and i'm gonna rest today yeah because i'm beat okay all right guys so i'm about to get my milk green i'm gonna get what the lady said i think she said get undressed from the All right, guys, so my memo was normal. Um, being that my family history is so strong, my mom had it twice. Then right when my mom died, her sister got diagnosed with it a month later. And now my dad is a um, cancer, colon cancer, stomach cancer survivor. Um, I'm at really, really high risk. So I have to, I've been getting them every year since I was in my early 20s because of that. Because you're not supposed to start getting mammograms till you're 40. Um, so today they did the mammogram. They did an ultrasound, a biopsy, and everything because y'all remember I had this cyst cut out my side, and then my right breast and my chest has been giving me a lot of problems. So I like where I go because they do all of that right there and give you your results right then. So I hate going to the doctor. If you guys remember, oh, I hate the way they be looking when they tested me for the endometriosis, endometrial cancer. I had to wait like three, four weeks for the results, and that shit almost killed me—not that long, two, three weeks. Um, but I like going to this breast center I go to because they give you your results like I'm so fidgety sorry they give you your results like when you're leaving out so Nicole had already took off of work to take me to this appointment I thank God so much because I am in such fear of cancer especially being that my dad has it and you guys in the had it and you guys know that I've been sick about three four five months now and so yeah, um, being that my gut is giving me indigestion and stuff so bad, so much, they wanted to check my breast out to make sure nothing was going on in my breast and my chest. So, that's clear. So, now we're at the wholesale district. I really just want to fly into, like, California Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to see if Nicole is down for that. But we have our own little wholesale district here, too. So, we're literally just hopping in and out of stores so I can find things to add on the Makeup by Platinum site. Um, she can find things for her t-shirt business. This is some of her orders back here. We both need to take orders to the post office. And, you know, we just making it do what it do while we got time. And I feel a little okay because I've been down the last three, four days packing all those orders. It was like five. Ended up being like 500 and some orders. And as you can see, I'm winded now. It made my chest hurt real bad. It flared my, um indigestion up my girl it flared my girl so much because i was just doing too much and it was stressed like people always say we have girl watch what you eat watch what you eat but it's not only what you eat it's how you um it's your stress and all of that and I, it just stressed me out i didn't realize i was stressed but i was trying to get those orders out so anyway that's what i'm doing honey all right guys so i went and got some sequin face masks i got a bulk of them i'm just counting them package by package um, I also got coasters. I'm always drinking tea, guys. I'm such a natural girl. I refuse to take medicine, but um, unless I absolutely have to. But anyway, um, yeah, to put in you guys' packages. So let me update the inventory. Hey, guys. So today, ooh, ooh, I'm just taking baby girl to track practice. I have to go get gas. She better hurry up before we run out. I have to go to the post office. I go to the post office every day. That's how you guys are able to get your packages so fast. And, and I gotta go. Me and Nicole got new rings, so I have to go get her sized. It's gonna show. Let me see. I have to go get her sized. She likes big, bulky, gaudy stuff. I don't. So, let's go. Yeah, look. When a woman gotta put her on, earn her time. Baby girl got a package from she. Oh, oh, 
Ooh, ice. Okay. Anyway. Oh, my hand looks so flicky with our nails, don't they? They look weird, huh? To you. So, yeah. Why is the flash on me high? But okay, so what they need to do to see your shit, huh? Subscribe to my channel. My channel name is Maya M Y Y A. Period. I didn't ask for a whole commercial. Well, they don't take they flash out. I'm back. That flash was messing with my mojo. But yeah, we're gonna try. Let's I got a shin box. I need to try on too. Tell them what I'm about to start doing. She's gonna start doing weekly vlogs instead of monthly vlogs so y'all can see more stuff and it's more videos. Yeah, because the weekly vlogs will be messing the memory up in my phone. And I'm gonna start Sunday. So this video will go live Sunday. And I will start a new week Sunday, right? Right. Something like that. Oh, this video will go live Monday and I'll start a new week Sunday. Because, like, I'm turning on me, but I'm ugly. <laughs> Oh, I get a lot of packages and stuff. And I hold people's stuff a long time. And if I don't do nothing else, I vlog. Because I don't have to get dressed to vlog. And so I feel like it'll be more organic. And I can get people stuff out faster. If I'm just like, oh, look what came today. She has her own website. She sent me these lipsticks. Instead of waiting a, wait, a week, a month, getting fully dressed and doing a haul video. And then people barely watch the haul. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I've come to the conclusion. A lot of people's like, that's gonna be a lot of work on you. It's not, it's actually gonna be easier because it is. it takes me like two days to edit those monthly vlogs because it's like three hours of content. I have to chop down, I have to leave stuff out. Um, Yeah, it'd be a lot. So I think this would be easier on me or I'll just try it. And if it don't work out like I think it's gonna work out, I'll go back to monthly. Hit up Amazon. Yeah, I don't, I don't have no envelopes for um my pop sockets and hand sanitizer and all that because y'all been shopping, shopping. So I get these envelopes from Amazon. I get these. They're both bubble mailers and purple. They're pretty decently priced. Um, I get these also. I'm going to have to find some bigger ones or some boxes that my vest can fit in. And something's missing. Oh, my thank you stickers. Oh, I just love purple. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm still missing my crinkle paper stuff, but you can get that crinkle paper stuff from Dollar Tree, but it's like a little bit. So I get like a pound from Amazon, and it literally lasts me like a month. So, yeah. Yogurt, right? I'm going to be cute in her mad shop. Make about platinum.com. Okay, you got anything else on we can promote? <laughs> She's straight from track practice, y'all. I get the healthy yogurt. Yeah, okay. Strawberries and nuts. Uh huh. That's baby girl. That's my daddy. Weaver leggings have been restocked. This is a hundred pair. Um, right here, and I have boxes and boxes and boxes. Y'all love them. I'm trying to. I'm tagging them now. <laughs> y'all. The leggings sold out. It wasn't even two hours in both sizes. And I had a lot, didn't I, babe? Yeah. Um, I'm underestimating. Say it again. Thank you. I'm underestimating myself. Um, I can't believe this. It's surreal. Thank y'all. They'll be back next week. I can get them pretty quick. Y'all, I done snuck in these whole hospital again. Got me bit. I been needing to know what's going on. Lady tried me at the door. I said, lady, I'm a whole nurse. Bye. Oh, Hey, I stopped on the post office and tell him. Yeah. 
You already filled it out, Daddy. Sure, I'll get y'all cool. Travel reimbursements, cause they probably gotta go through approval first. They have to confirm you got an appointment, or people just come up here putting the slips in her. Wouldn't you? I come up here every day and put a slip in her if they didn't confirm it. I mean, I, no, I'm saying after I feel that I knew everything. Oh. Look in the system then. Yeah. Uh, we're going shopping. Get this good veterans discount. Find me a sweater or something. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> In the snack aisle. You know how that go? Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can give me my oatmeal. Oh, thank you. Oh, let me chill. I'm almost fine. <laughs> Cookie monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the doctor tried to tell my son, hello, Beyonce, I need some concert tickets. Y'all did. Okay. Everything's going well. It was a checkup. My daddy don't understand. He had a massive open stomach surgery. And stuff ain't going to just pop back. You know, it ain't going to pop back right. <laughs> Especially getting four boxes of cookies. It's all good though. It's all good. When he went the last time, his intestines were really scarred. That's why he was in so much pain. But he's good. Alright guys, so I'm at the local place. It's called Print Place where I get my labels and stuff printed. I opt out to come pick this stuff up. Baby yes, it's worth saving 20 some dollars of shipping. And it's been a long morning. So last night my printer was doing the weirdest stuff, reprint labels, and then I ran out of labels because it kept printing the same labels over and over. So I had to um, write, sorry y'all. I had to write the company and like my printer is malfunctioning, but what ended up happening was the cord wasn't in all the way, so that's why I kept stopping. Um, so I had to get up this morning and try to get some more paper from Office Max because um, I can only get it on Amazon and they can't deliver it to Saturday. And I'm not about to be printing all that paper, cutting it, and taping it. And I went to Office Max and got the stickers. Put them in there. And then start printing out all the stickers from last night. I never canceled the um the job that was in queue. So now I'm out of labels again. So after I pick this stuff up, I have to run and go and get more labels. So I can send the rest of my stuff off today because I don't ship on the weekend. I'm not bragging. I mean bragging. I'm not complaining, but y'all, I'm so tired. I'm on three hours of sleep. I need a personal assistant. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. So I'm just gonna have to go on lockdown and get that because your girl is getting whoa the hell out. And now baby girl don't feel good, which has me very concerned because she's having to go to school every day for track practice. Yeah, they homeschool, but they still make them go to school for eighth period track practice. It's the weirdest shit ever, so yeah, let me get these labels, get to Office Max, get the rest of my order ship, take a nap, and I can regroup later. <laughs> so I just, they just leave it. You got a call, they leave it out. Hold on, make sure my address ain't on it. Nope. And here's all my items. <laughs> They're easy. That saved me 20 bucks. Promotional card. Have to get them redone. Front and back. Um... Yeah, here's the stickers. These are actually big stickers. I'm gonna get plain white bags and just use these because um, these bags right here tear really easy. So these are business cards, which I turn into hang hang tags. That's a hack. Get a small hole puncher and turn them into hang. And here's the labels for my um spray i didn't have labels i was printing them on my laser 
printer and I didn't like the way they look, so I got them professionally done. Here's some logo stickers that I think are extremely cute. And here's more. I got a whole box of these. I just sent these out to show you guys. Chat because I've had a hell of a night because I thought this printer broke, but I just didn't have it plugged in all the way. So that's why I kept cutting out, but I kept trying and then used all of my labels. So I went to Office Depot and got these. This is just 20 of them. You can get more because I didn't want to buy a book and this didn't work out. No, it did not work in that thermal printer because these are inkjet laser. But I do have a regular printer over here. So I just went in, switched this printer to four by six. You're gonna have to switch how the paper looks too. See how that the paper go right there where the green is at. And you can print from your regular printer. So that's a business hack. If you can't afford $200 for this printer when you first start out, just get like regular labels like this and put them on your in your regular printer it'll save you some money two hundred dollars i wish i would have known that at first but no nah, no i don't because this printer doesn't require ink it runs off the of heat and you don't ever have to put ink in it i'm gonna have to keep filling this one with ink so this is just a fix for today to get my packages out that came in but i had to order a box of five thousand but these could be delivered instantly so i went ahead and got it i get this pound of paper from Amazon. Yes, you can get like this stuff at the Dollar Tree, but this lasts so long. So, so long. And I had to get some bottles to make some more um, spray. The hot in here spray. So, yeah. So, guys, I'm about to retake my pictures for the hot in here spray. I got new labels for it. <laughs> Sorry, this is me. I got new labels for it and I love them. So, that's what I'm doing set up on this whiteboard. I'm gonna turn my ring light that way. And this light needs to come. I need light on both sides. Put my forever roses in the back that are almost a year old and still popping. All right, so guys, I came in for a little retail therapy. My little cheap shoe store. We were supposed to go and get a room. I want these, that's what I came in here for. Um, But it didn't work out like that, so. We're just doing some shopping, re-upping on inventory and stuff like that. So, Nicola's in Ross. I ran over here to look and see what shoes they got in stock. So, let's go. Who ain't paying $20 for this? Me. Yeah, that's what I asking me where they came from four dollars oh i'm so happy i could scream in this damn stuff okay yeah we are shopping but it's my allergy season so i'm like don't worry about it so i'm like scared to sneeze in the stores i'm like a mad woman but let me show y'all what i got real quick so i don't have to put it in Ohio. all right so i got the bottega dupes I got them in nude. $20. What oh, they blowing it? I know not, I know not you, babe. Mm -hmm. So I got nude and I also got them in. And I looked up with these. I was like, I really wanted black and they didn't have them at the back. We went to the front. They had one pair sitting on the table and it just so happened to be who size. <laughs> so I also got some sunglasses. You know those oh. black sunglasses I always wear. Ooh, this is a bad place for they call to stop. Those black sunglasses that I always, always oh man. Always, always, always wear. You guys are always, always, always like, where do you get them? Well, this little cheap shoe store for four dollars. 
and I looked up and they had them in another color today. Only one pair. I even asked the lady, did she have them at the back right back? Yeah. I will get some and put them on the site for y'all. But y'all are out of luck. <laughs> I'm going to be cute and y'all are out of luck. So, yeah. It's not in the same spot, baby. I moved it. But it's fine. Yeah. Uh, we in traffic, y'all. Trying to make it to another store. Baby. Bay funds are sufficient. Your funds are sufficient. Mm -hmm. You went over your budget. Cause she she got a she ain't do nothing. She was supposed to do y'all. Yes, I did. No, you did. You got about eight pair of jeans and everything in your bags. But anyway, I got three. I got these two. Uh uh. Don't, this this uh -uh. is my channel, not yours. I don't care. We ain't gonna tell stories on me. I got three, and I got what I needed in the sizes that were available to me. But she didn't go in there to shop for herself. That's what but I'm saying. I, so now, when we go to this other store, right? But if they got some more of what she needed, she done spent money on what she wanted that she could be spending on what she needed. But see, sometimes you have to seize opportunity. And like, I'm finna just come back out here every night. These are the, they some dupes. I forgot. But they purple, so I had to get them. Okay! What dupes are these, y'all? They are the... Better shut the... <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all. Alright y'all. I'm finna organize. Gotta find somewhere for my new babies to go. Better look at them than in the car. And this is the ones you guys always be asking me where I got them from. And I'm like, I got them a year ago. Four dollars. It was just, I said, baby, hold my, I'll be right back. Let me go to the shoe store. And ran right into my dang shades done. <laughs> and here's a better look at the shoes okay i was gonna get the white ones but i'm not a white girl literally literally figuratively <laughs> both so yeah